Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, now Mike Arsenal, and many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This is part of the e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. Our sponsor today is Acuity Scheduling. They help automate client bookings, cancellations, and reminders. I use it personally to book my guests at Inspired Insider because it saves me hours of back and forth emails, coordinating schedules with busy people like Mike, and it's one of the top three tools I use to save me tons of time. Uh, today we have Mike Arsenal, he's co-founder of Rejoiner. Rejoiner is a software for e-commerce companies that helps drive faster revenue growth. Who doesn't want that, Mike? They have helped over a thousand companies, including Gas, Hallmark, many more. To date, their customers have generated an additional, and I looked at their website just now, $68,268,268.79 ,268 <laughs> in revenue using their software. And Mike's going to talk about how that is an actual real number and where that's hooked into. They have a strong value proposition that I noticed when I go on, on their site. It says, done, and I know that you've thought you know, hard about this, mm -hmm. done with you service by a team of e-commerce email marketing experts with a guaranteed ROI every month. Mm -hmm. Mike, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. I always ask because it's Inspired Insider, um, two things. One, what's been the lowest moment and then how you push through it mm -hmm. yeah i would say the lowest moment was in the beginning where we had built the product things looked promising we had customers on paper we had an amazing team um and then we went out and in you know sort of very typical startup fashion, we tried to do the accelerator thing. We tried to do Y Combinator, mm. we tried to do Techstars. Um, we, we, we tried Techstars first and we made it to the final 15 or so companies. Is this in did. Boston or New York? This is, or? This is in Boston, okay. yeah. And we didn't, we didn't make that one. Why we had high up. We had high hopes. Um, what's interesting is that they had the same concerns about the team that I didn't know existed yet, which mm. was the fact that I was working full time and the other two guys weren't. And they told us that, and I was like, "No, no, that's not not, not an issue. They're gonna they're gonna be ready soon, right?" Um, mm. And then we actually we also made it to the finals for Y Combinator, and we flew out to Palo Alto. Yeah, you know, we the met the three of you. The three of us. Yeah. We met with like Gary Tan and Paul Buckheit, the guy who invented Gmail. And um, that's pretty cool. Yeah. We thought we did really well. We we're like so excited. And, and um, you know, it turns out we didn't get in there either. And so we got rejected from both. And did they give you reasons why, why not White Combinator? Uh, or did White they give Com you feedback on the spot? What kind of feedback were they giving you on the spot? They, I mean, White Combinator, the, the interview process is drastically different from Techstars. The interview is like 10 minutes. And they basically just pepper you with all of these really insightful questions to see how you think and to see if you really understand the opportunity that you're going after. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you know, we had practiced for days beforehand, but you can't prepare for the questions that they're going to ask. What you. were some of the questions? Oh, gosh. I think Gary, Gary Tan asked one where he was like, we had explained what the product does. And he goes, what is this the Trojan horse for? <laughs> What 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 is what is, what is, what is I, this is idea? What is it? What is it a Trojan horse for? And like what he was getting at, I you know, and you had to stop and pause and think about it. But what you know, what he's getting at is what's the bigger idea here? Like you know, clearly you've built this little piece of technology that works. Like what, what's the bigger vision? Mm -hmm. um, so how do you answer that? I'm, I, I don't even remember. Oh, yeah. I'm sure, we just started like babbling and rambling. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, both of those things were very high points where there was a lot of excitement about the possibilities of what could happen and also very low points when you find out that yeah. you know they don't think that you're the right fit and so yeah. that's really when things started to fall apart from a co-founder perspective mm. because i felt like one a win in either of those would mean would be the catalyst for the other two guys to Quit. be like All right, this is real like we're doing it right and that didn't happen and so it was um 
you know, that I, I, you know, probably got lower from there, but it was, that's really where things started to, to implode, um, from a founding team perspective. Yeah. Yeah. And so on the flip side of that, Mike, what's been one of the proudest moments? Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with our first million in revenue. Mm. So what was that like? Very proud moment, but it like, I don't think it was the elation that I expected. It was kind of just like, okay, we hit it. Like we did it. Got to keep going. Like what's the next thing? And it wasn't a thing where it was like, you know, we threw a party. It was just like, okay, like, you know, when you, when that happened, what did you think back on? You know, did you think back on a certain moment? Like I remember when I was there and now I'm here. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I'm not sure it was a reflective moment for me. Actually, mm-hmm. I think it was more, I was more forward thinking mm. than reflective. Yeah. Um, it, it, in, you know, I think the interesting part about it was that it took us many years to get to that point, but it felt like it was only the beginning at that point. Like we just were just getting started on what's possible. And so, yeah, I mean, of course it felt great, but I, you know, it was, it was definitely more of a, um, you know, this is just one milestone to hit. There are many more that are going to come in the future. Yeah. What point did you feel that the wind was at? I mean, you're a sailor, right? That the wind was just pushing you and you were just flowing. Probably when we made like when we, when we when the team got to the point where we were like maybe four people and we had like three other people besides me doing stuff. And so like our team is amazing and they're like all brilliant at what they do. And so when, when things started to move on their own without me having to intervene and things like from a marketing perspective, from a sales perspective, from a design perspective, Mm -hmm. these are, you know, our amazing team where they were bringing their own ideas and pushing this forward. And it was like, you know, like as a founder, you're like, Oh my gosh, like I can't believe these people are like, you know, like, they're helping us grow. And like, it's such a magical moment to realize yeah. that you've, you've built a team and they're um, all rallied around the same goal. And it's like, you know, I've been building this myself for three years. Like what's going on? Like we've got these great people now. Right. Yeah. I love that. Mike, thank you so much. Where should we point people towards um, yeah, on absolutely. Rejoiner? What should they check out? Yeah, check out rejoiner.com if you're interested in marketing automation for e-commerce, lifecycle email. We, we create a lot of great content about um, how e-commerce companies can use uh, email to grow their businesses uh, faster. We've got like um, a really cool email gallery that we're launching, which is like we're going to basically catalog all of the great e-commerce email examples um, on our site for people to use for, for inspiration. That's going to be launching next week. Yeah. Um, so check out our blog and if anybody wants to, to email me directly, I'll put my, uh, my email address, you know, maybe you can put it in the show notes or something, but, um, I'm happy to have a conversation with yeah. anybody who's, who's interested, interested in this stuff. Yeah. Everyone go to rejoiner.com. Check it out. Mike spent a long t- amount of time toiling over every detail. So <laughs> I appreciate that. Mike, thank you so much. I really Thanks appreciate for having that. Me,